Hello and welcome to That Eurovision site. I'm Angus and today I'm joined by... Daniel, hello. And today we'll be talking about the first rehearsals of the first semi-final of Eurovision 2024. Yeah, let's just ask a very general question. Like, what was your main takeaway, and what are there any countries that really impressed you? Firstly, I don't think there's any countries I went oh in like a bad way for, because there's I don't think there's actively bad staging that I've seen. But in terms of really good ones, I think that I wasn't expecting Ireland. Really, they've done it really well. Uh, other than that, I'd say I really love Poland. I know it's unpopular, but it's just a fun and whimsy song with fun and whimsy staging. I think it's perfect for Luna's personality and her song. And I don't really like the song at all, but I do quite like the Azerbaijan staging. I think if anything's going to give them a chance, I think it's that even though I still maybe don't think it's quite enough. And what about yourself? You know, those are some really good picks. I'd say a, a lot of the countries in this first semi-final, they had pretty strong yeah. concepts already for the national final. So there's nothing yeah, really so new, I, new. I couldn't really it. comment on Portugal or Serbia because we saw what they were going through anyway. It was, They were already great. So yes, there there are some like small changes to it, uh, like to to fit to the bigger stage, or especially for Serbia, yeah. it's more of a different vibe. We'll get into that more later. But um, yeah, no, I would say that Poland it might be a bit much. I'll talk about that when we talk about the country itself, really. But as such, it it does feel like the best use of the screens that we're getting. Yeah, from everything we've seen so far, I'd say they they have the yeah. best use of the screens. Azerbaijan really is going high concept. I'm very curious about what the final camera angles will look like and what that will make for the performance because that will be that will be key, I think. Um so yeah, and Ireland actually bringing like production yeah. value to the stage is yeah. is I think a surprise. Um so with with those with that quick uh, fire run over, I think it's only fair that we just address all the countries one by one just yeah. Talk about what we think of them. Uh, maybe also, I mean, the delegation itself sometimes to also change things. They can change things yeah. very up until the yeah. very last moment, I and mean, even for the I final think, if they get there. Yeah, and we, we had second rehearsals today. We've already seen some changes from people. It yes. felt there's time. There's time, definitely. And there will be times that we will mention the second rehearsals yeah. insofar we've seen much of it. But let's just go in, uh, in running order, I'd say. So yeah. we start with uh, Cyprus. Mm, no, it's not enough. She needs more. more. It's it, a song that needs high energy. Cy they, Cyprus know how to do it. They just decided not to, I guess. One thing we can say in defense is um, we haven't seen the full dance routine. No. And Celia Captus is, especially for age, is a strong performer also to the camera. Yeah. So again, those are the two things that... I mean, this is a song also depends on, on the dance break, basically. And we yeah. haven't seen the dance break. So, yeah. But yeah, I it's will not, say, wow. I, I, am, I am worried for Cyprus at this point. Yeah, it, it this doesn't give confidence, at least, I'd say. No. Uh, but then, yeah, I, I just need to see the dance break. I would have loved to see something with the outfits. It did just not, it's yeah. just not quite giving it to me. A bit of drama mm -hmm. in the beginning, and yeah, then, especially I... because Liar has that sort of boom into the first chorus. That I would is. say an, an outfit that needs to stand out for that and her outfit just doesn't, it's very samey that people won't comment on it. No, uh, we need fact, either some yeah. kind of comment or like a reveal, some drama. Yeah. Now to uh, what's a joint fave of ours, Serbia. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's basically the Pesma staging. Yeah. It's with a different rock. It's, it, yeah. It's been slightly enhanced, I'd say. Like the, it, yeah. it does seem like it's enhanced also because it's a bigger, better stage, if you ask me. Yes. 
Um, but overall, I mean, there's very little to note. She, th this concept yeah. has been there for the song from the very beginning, for the yeah. music video, and it's still there. Yeah, it's very little needed to be changed. So, yeah, I, I think that's my yeah. takeaway. I'm still not fully sold on the dress myself. Um, like, like, I understand sort of what the outfit is going for, like the sort of this, yeah, the, the grayish purple is very much the color of the room on the flower. Yeah. And sort of simple, but and it's a bit naturey, but yeah, it's not quite working for me as an outfit. Yeah, very indifferent towards that. I would say it's it's not jumping out. It's not. She needs to change it. It's not. That's amazing. Never change it. But I would. I will get onto outfits for someone else because that's a perfect outfit. I bet. Uh, before we get there, we have Lithuania. Honestly, no real strong opinions on Lithuania. It's in the same boat as there was already a fairly solid concept that any changes were going to be minimal because it's a very sound concept for staging. It's not, I wasn't wowed, but then again, I've already seen performances so many times that. It didn't really have room for me to be wowed. But yeah, I still think Looked Help would get a pretty good result. It, it, they're maybe very high end from the semi final because they're starting on 24 points just for showing up. So Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I will say I'll disagree with with you a bit. I'm not, I wasn't a fan of the staging originally. Like, it was. I do think it was fine for the Eurovisia stage. Yeah. Here at Eurovision, it's... And again, they can do a lot with camera angles, with editing. Like, there's a lot that can definitely happen, but it feels a bit dark. Yeah. It feels like it's not really made for the stage. Um, we've seen before with, like, poppy bangers, especially if it's difficult for the viewers to connect with the performer because they're relatively shrouded in darkness. I mean, the yeah. infamous Benjamin Grosso televote. Yeah. Um, does loom over a song like this potentially? I'm not saying it, it's a given. I, uh, I think it's a bit more televote friendly than that in general. Uh, I, yeah. I I think camera angles could make or break it. I think it, it's a slick song. I think it needs like similarly like slick camera movements. Definitely, and I will also be curious how just the performance evolves because for me at least. Um, at least his national final performance, Sylvester Belt didn't mm -hmm. feel like fully comfortable with the choreography, or at least mm -hmm. not quite as in sync as his dancers were. Yeah, and that's for this kind of song, I think, is really important. And I mean, he he's had a few months of practice now, and it's a different environment, so maybe he'll uh, he'll really up that. But it is something that I was like, well, speaking of songs that had a very strong national final performances, Ireland. Wow. Shit. Well, we'll leak into the second semi second rehearsals because it just dropped like 15 minutes ago as we were recording this. And wow. They're back in the final. Because I do not see a world where that doesn't, non, that doesn't qualify. I could see Ireland getting their best result in a long, long time. Because... It draws you in very first second, and you will be completely drawn in for the entire three minutes. It's just everything that song needs, it is. And I would say I really love the candle thing where they go whoosh and the ca candles light up. That just tickles my brain in the right way. And trust Bambi because they have executed it brilliantly. You can tell that Bambi, um, both themselves is and is very close friends with people who do graphic design, who do stage design, yeah. who do choreography. This is very much clearly coming from the artist as this is what I want to present on the stage. Yeah. Um, obviously, like there has obviously been help from like I'm not going to diss the Irish broadcaster too much here. I've done that plenty elsewhere, mm -hmm. but um, we've come they, a long way from exploding cakes. They've come a long way from exploding cakes, and also in general, like being able to listen to your artist, like figuring out that your artist has a good idea yeah. and then acting on that is also a very big step that not all broadcasters are able to do. 
Um, yeah, it's just visually very strong. It's very striking. If Ireland doesn't qualify for this, either something massively went wrong in the semi final, or we could just pack this entire concept up because this this needs to be yeah. in the final. Just from a visual perspective yeah. alone, like regardless of what you think of the yeah. song, I think visually yeah. this serves the spot. I I saw someone say Bambi doesn't need the final. The final needs Bambi, and yeah, that's very true. And it's uh, on to one of the Ukraine. bookies' favorites, Ukraine. I and I can see why because, firstly, I'm not usually one to overly care about what someone's wearing on the stage, but when you do it well, you do it well because it's. I didn't. It's like they blended up the song and put it in the fabric because they look modern, but they also look medieval, and it worked so so well with the staging they've gone with it reminds me a bit of brunettes from last year which i loved and victorious which i loved and earlier the second rehearsal clip dropped i just sat there for 10 minutes on loop but it was just so captivating and i just thought wow that is ukraine's winning moment just the long note at the top of the hill thing just full massive winner vibes from that rehearsal i think that's very fair i mean yeah the outfits are a particular highlight uh i love the use of light for most of the performance just mm -hmm. the, the the certain warmth that that is shown in it i really appreciate that um i will say though the slope looks very cheap at least in the photos and yeah. stills uh the slope yeah. looks very cheap so if <laughs> The, the, and again, that's awesome that you can do in camera or like with the immediate editing, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But at the moment, it just looks more like the kind of thing. Oh, you can test your walk, like you know, your mountain shoes on this in the in the sports store yeah. instead of like a, a stage prop for the biggest music yeah. event in the world. Uh, but overall, it, it's a very solid performance. I'm. And all the other questions I would ever have had about the Ukraine rehearsals yeah. and everything are stuff we don't have yeah. yet because it's how do they set the microphones? Like it's that kind of thing. Yeah. But we don't know that until much later. Uh, now to a divisive one it's... that we're going to defend until yeah. our editor is going to put I, in a complaint. I, <laughs> Poland. I, I have seen a lot of hate for it. I've, I've seen it being, being called Junior Eurovision. I've seen it just been called everything under the sun a, a flop a failure a joke i think it's partially unfair because of who's doing the staging they are always going to get some flack for that because it was the same person who did embers but i think this is not like that at all because the trumpets from embers they just didn't do anything but the towers they have meaning they have use you can see that they use the towers luna ends ends the song on one of the towers and the song itself, it's just a fun, whimsical like type, different, really different song that stands out. You're going to want the staging to match that, and I think it does. And it perfectly goes with Luna and her personality and the type of song there is. And at the end of the day, it's not... It would be very weird to stage it like dark, like the music video or or something like that. I essentially just think she's there to have a good time. She's having a good time. We've seen Poland's track record. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Um, I, I, I will say, I will say, I don't know what they're doing with the horse. I don't know if I love or hate it. Probably both. Yes, though. I mean, the horse is definitely. A thing. I will say, my first thought when I saw shots of this is it immediately reminded me. It also the response to it to another staging that was heavily critiqued last year at first and then became beloved later and that was Czechia, Vesna Vesna yeah. and Luna both have in my view the best use of their respective LED walls and floors yeah. with just how they feel yeah. more than just it's more than LED wall it feels genuinely like yeah. you're on, on a special built set just for the song it's very like yeah. How many of those performances in Umka, for example, like what people always compliment Finland for for their stage? Yeah. Um, it's this is very much giving an artist at like the EMA, like one of the bigger award music award shows, yeah. doing like performance. Um, I've always said Luna's song and in general her music 
in part reminds me a bit of an artist like Aurora who does like this slightly weirder yeah. stuff. Uh, it works well for. Um, that's not to say it's necessarily perfect. I, in some of the shots, the outfit does look unflattering. But again, camera versus, well, photo camera versus video camera, movement versus still. We don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the, the cape is beautifully dramatic. Obviously, it's one of multiple yeah. pointed shoulder moments that we have in this Eurovision, but it's there aren't that many pointed shoulders in this semi final, yeah. so that shouldn't hurt yeah. Luna for the semi final at least. Yeah, if this doesn't go through, I mean, I, I could see it happen because it is a lot. This performance is a lot, and it could be a bit too much for people, but yeah. I would be surprised. Um, and I do think people will look yeah. back on it. There are iconic shots, just Luna standing between the two towers with the red cape. That's just an iconic shot. Uh, yeah. That's just really such a great, great moment. We're going back to one of the bookies' favorites. It's uh, Croatia. And it's another one where they already had a fairly solid concept to begin with. You, We already knew it wasn't going to be much different because there's not much to change, I think. It was a good rehearsal. It's, it's a, people were saying, we've already seen a change. People don't like his hair. His hair's changed, which is more or less what these rehearsals are for. But say, if if something that really doesn't go well, they've changed it. And that's it's good that they're being proactive like that because people who are criticizing it really only want the best for it. And... I do think it will do really well. I, I've i never thought it will win, but I still think it could get very, very good results. Certainly the best Croatia I've seen. And it's maybe very high up in the teller vote. I think juries will go for it, especially ones who will get a song like there's less of an Eastern Europe block than there was. I still think that they will come out for this song. I can see it scoring very well with them. And overall, yeah, not much needed to be changed, but the things that have changed have been good. Yeah, overall, it's, it's just been upgraded for the for the different stage because yeah. Dora has a very peculiar stage. This is a completely different one, and it, it, it has translated well. I mean, we didn't touch on it really with Poland that much with the horse, but this is the second zone with a neon animal in it. Yeah. In the semi final, which is uh, that that's the cat specifically, I think people will love. People will cats. love it. Yes, it can. It, it is going to be a lot visually, and that is, I do think, something that people should keep in yeah. mind when they, uh, either you know, for us very dedicated Eurovision fans, where we talk about the semi final before yeah. we watch it with people who don't follow it as closely, yeah. or also when you think about the voting, there is a a lot of these performances have a lot going on visually. Croatia is yeah. no exception, um, especially back to back, basically. Yeah. So that will be interesting to see how it all works out. But I, it's solid. I mean, he has a great outfit on, Baby Lasagna, mm -hmm. and uh, the backing dancers and the band members yeah. don't take anything away from the performance. They add just yeah. enough to be, to fulfill the function. There's not really much I can criticize on that. Yeah. On that. Now it's the country that had uh, a lot of interesting um, comments about the outfit. Speaking of outfits, it's Iceland. Uh, it, I'm sorry, it's dead on arrival. I just don't see any pathway for this qualifying at all. I just don't... What I think they've done is they've increased the likelihood of someone decently high following on Twitter saying, she's not scared of heights, she's on a platform! And getting way too many likes. That's all that's coming from this rehearsal. I mean, some of the light, like I love the strobe light effects. Basically, they're lovely, but that's just I yeah. love I love lights. Yeah. Um, yeah. That being said, it it does feel a bit underwhelming. The outfit yeah. is what it is. I'm happy that she clearly feels comfortable enough in it to perform well. Yeah. Like she she seemed to be singing well from everything we've heard and. People have been saying, um, I mean, she, she moves pretty well in that. There are some gorgeous shots you get from the tassels, but it all feels a bit underwhelming in the end. Yeah. Where, where I said earlier that Poland feels like a war show performance, this feels more like, yeah. I mean, 
I do mean it's complimenting like this feels more like seasoned, very well known performer is on world tour. Like that's still a good yeah. thing, but it's not nearly as impressive in its th you know, you only have three minutes to impress people. And this doesn't yeah. quite have that it factor, I'd say. So Slovenia. Slovenia, I'll say outfits are certainly outfits. I think she's certainly trying to do all she can with what she's got, which with like an Eastern European broadcast will be not much. So I've always been more skeptical than most about how the song would do. I personally think it's the weaker of the three main like female ballads that are in the semi final, and this rehearsal hasn't hugely changed my opinion on how this will do. I think I don't want it to not NQ. I really like the song. I like the performance. I just think it's going to get lost because there's high energy, Every everything's fireworks, and they've not really brought something that will make them stand out other than what they are wearing, I think. I, I do think this performance will be remembered by its fans. Yeah. I'm included yeah. in them because it, oh, yeah. it really tells also the story that also the music video was saying. And it does yeah. tell also, I mean, like not literally the story of, of the, the person who was Veronica, but it does tell sort of what yeah. the song is about and also what's her entire yeah. EP that has similar songs on it. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it could still have the oomph mm. factor that it, in fact, there are some shots where I'm re that we've yeah. gotten from the photographers most of them really like, Oh, this could be a moment on the stage, but that yeah. also depends on how the people in the arena react to it and how that then is transferred to yeah. the viewers at home. Um, but this could be quite something. It could also land pretty flat with people. I find yeah. it very hard to predict with this yeah. because yeah. I mean, I would say for me, the song is very similar. Like it had the strong moments are really strong, yeah. but there are some parts I struggle with, as it were, in this yeah. bit mixed bag um sp speaking of l loud and in your face finland uh this firstly i just want to say if he's allowed to do that renella should have been allowed to do whatever it was she wanted to do because you can't have it both ways is feels about eh. I, I i don't think renella should i think she, i think her staging was terrible but it's the double standards shouldn't be there but it's the same thing pretty much we saw from Umke and that either you like it or you despise it. I, th I think it's a staging that song needs and it really depends on if you like the song that where your opinion on that will fall. It's very good staging for what it is, I'll say. And um, Essentially, it's the same as UMK. I think it was fun staging UMK, but I can see why it's ruffling fellas. I understand why people hate it. Yeah, I mean, this was never a song for me, a performance for me. Like, I appreciate the, the stagecraft that actually goes into this because it is actually fairly yeah. complex staging. Yeah. Um, and they prefer like Windows ninety five man performs it like well like it it, it yeah. feels as if coming across as intended. Um, I do appreciate the new like, uh, four color thong with the windows like <laughs> squares. That, that's a bit more tasteful. It it's it's it it does feel like they're also working as okay, and they're still seeing how far they can go with things. It does very much feel like a combination of like, oh, we're Finland, we can do jokes and someone who's a former art student putting together yeah. uh, as well as possible forms, which of course also has to do with the song again and you can read more meaning into that if you want and that wouldn't be unfair, but it's... I, I see why it is ruffling some feathers. I don't see any reason why people would say, oh, now it won't qualify where earlier it did because yeah. it, it it's still in essence the same performance it has gotten a bit yeah. slicker a bit like the the, the denim egg has gotten a mild upgrade yeah. without it being distracting etc yeah. etc um 
for me, the biggest downgrade, despite some lovely moments, Moldova. So I'll just quickly go. I love the Etapa Nacional or whatever it was called, I forget. Um, staging just with the multiple dancers. Like, I do think it was a mistake to do that with the microphone stands because people really thought, oh, they're the backing singers yeah. when they were not. That being said, I love that staging. Um, and this yeah. her being alone, so it's not that Natalia Barbu cannot carry this performance, she can, she's a performer. But this song needs yeah. that bit extra, and I think the the butterflies are a bit yeah. a bit kitsch more than anything. Yeah. But the wing moment where she's standing in between those wings and they start flapping, that's gorgeous again. So, but I'm yeah, yeah I'm third. This is the 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 staging that I've been most underwhelmed by because I thought Moldova, even if they can't do anything too special with it, they had a clear concept, yeah. but they seem to have moved away from it. Yeah. Yeah, I think Moldova, their song needs a lot. Moldova in the past have brought a lot. They've not brought a lot this year. I think it's fine. I won't remember it, but it's it's not actively working against them, but it's not making people jump out of their seats saying, this is great. Well, they wouldn't have otherwise before. It's just very down the middle, safe. But can you play it safe if you need to take a risk? Not really. And I feel vindicated in saying that I can't see it in the final. Yeah, I had some hopes before the before the rehearsals, but now they've been uh, thoroughly dashed, really. Yeah. But um, I mean, and speaking of a song that then basically has gone the other direction, we've already yeah. touched on it a bit. It's Azerbaijan. I mean, the outfits I are quite something. I'm not sure they're great or terrible. They're definitely notable. Yeah, yeah I need to see this movement, I think. This is something I'd I need to see proper movement. The staging concept, I think, is cool. I I, I, I like the hands. They're fun. I was saying, brightened in your face is what this song needs to put out there because, at least for me, that's what the song isn't. So it, it is a song that could initially fly into people's radars, gets a little boost from the staging like that. They've given themselves a shot, I think. I still think they'll miss out on the final, but with a lot better result than they would have otherwise gotten with weaker staging, I think. Yeah, the staging's grown on me for the song, so that's mission accomplished for them, I guess. I think they've also done what they could because there's only so much you can do with this song. Yeah. Um so up next is Australia. Um, I mean it's there. I I've not I forget this song exists quite a lot, I'll be honest, because it's not really giving anything for me. And I don't really think this staging is anything different because it's just, I don't really have anything to say that it, it's okay. It's not anything brilliant. It's not anything I'll lose sleep over. It's just there. I, this song deserves bigger... Like, I do think they've, they've yeah. made some good decisions just with the presentation of how, how colourful, how warm it is. Yeah. But with the music that Electric Fields part, Saunders also makes and just um some of the things this song does, it deserves a bit more of a you know, I don't mean party atmosphere as in, in the club, but they deserve more of a party atmosphere. Yeah. I I hope people understand what I mean by that. Because now it feels a bit... It ends up making the stage look empty. Yeah. And that is a real shame. Uh, and there was absolutely no need for that. No. But I also understand that, I mean, it must have been difficult to... Like, this is a... I, I really like this one, but it's a difficult one to stage for, I think. Yeah. Um... I will be interested to see how they sell it in the performance because we have seen that they've, or it's, at least it seems like Electric Fields have been trying to undersell yeah. it a bit for the rehearsals. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like when they're actually performing yeah. the points. Uh, Portugal. Portugal, I need to see the camera shots to say anything, really. I think that's where a song like that gets made. What we have seen, I love, but I just, without camera shots, it's like, a missing piece of a puzzle that 
it could be brilliant. It could be just okay. We just don't know yet. What we can see, I love, but I really need to know if the high note aspect ratio changes is staying in because that is a moment I think will grab people. If that's gone, I would be worried. But I, I really, really hope it stays because it's one of my favorites of the year. That that was also honestly the only moment that really stuck with me from the national final staging. I was underwhelmed uh, by this in the national final. Uh, the thing is, like the, the dancing, the choreo was great, and it does seem like they've mostly just translated that over one to one, which is fine. Um, but the problem is, sort of at the same time, it was too static and not static enough. Like I wanted a bit more energetic camera editing in that national final performance. This um. Because there's this certain beat that goes already even the slow part of the song. So to keep the people engaged from the work go, just to have a bit of that editing in there to like or camera movement. Yeah. There's something and I think cuts are better than movement for the opening of the song yeah. because the song flows so beautifully. So having the camera do the opposite would be yeah. lovely. Um but I mean Yolanda is a solid performer. I do this could still start. I don't think they've done enough for me at Portugal for me to say like, oh, this yeah. will seal through. Um, I don't think even with perfect staging Portugal sails through. I think it's a case of just sneaking through the back door and then once they get in the final, really going for it with everything that's unlocked for them. But I'd say the ceiling for them is like seventh in the semi final, I think. Yeah, it will be touch and go. We'll need to see. Now, yeah. now it's time to go to Luxembourg. Let's just jump to the second rehearsals because Tadi. Stopped wearing the unfinished outfit from the first rehearsals and actually yeah. put on what might be the finished article, which yeah. still doesn't look great. Um, but at least it's an outfit. I just don't know what they're doing with it. I just think it's not how I would think you'd stage that song. I don't think it's the right way to stage that song. And I think they're trying to make both the song and Tali into something they're not, which just isn't going to work, I don't think. Because it just feels very inauthentic to what the song and what the artist is. Yeah. And like it, it does it almost makes me feel as if and I don't think this is true, but it very much feels as if RTL blew the budget on that yeah. very expensive national final. And then was yeah. like, well, we have like enough left for two smoke cannons and one set of fireworks for Eurovision. Yeah. Will that do? Um, I mean, this could still spread. Like Luxembourg is a wild card. We don't know what like yeah. Portugal's in there. There's a lot of Portuguese people live in Luxembourg, so there could be a lot of cross voting. Uh, there's there's some other countries that could, they could definitely be getting votes from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's. This staging just left me very much like, oh yeah, just like so. Oh yeah, this is also in, in here this year. Um, so yeah, yeah that, those are all the songs. Is there anything you'd like to say? Add? I'll say from the bunch. I think Ukraine. I think are the best from the bunch because it just had. It's not a finished article, I don't think, but it's by far the most together I think that from what we've seen it's the one only one I'd say I have been wowed by and that I've just been like fully drawn in that's not really happened for anyone even in semi-final two because I think there's a lot of good staging with very little great staging this year and I think Ukraine is great staging yeah, I would say if I tried to remove all my previous knowledge from watching all the national finals and God knows what, I think Serbia is the one that feels like will have the most impact on, on first-time viewers, but I think Ukraine is also a very good shout for that. Yeah. Th those are definitely the two that I'm like, oh, this will leave a positive impact on people that are yeah. watching these, the hearing and or seeing these songs for the first time. But yeah, on that note, that was Daniel and Angus recapping the first day of rehearsal and a bit of the second day of rehearsal well the second rehearsals of the first semi-final of Eurovision 2024 thank you so much for watching this is that Eurovision site over on YouTube so subscribe like hit the bell button because we need to ask for that yeah. you can follow us over as 
at that your site on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, Blue Sky. I think that's all of those. Tumblr. Uh, and Tumblr, true. And you, this will also probably go out in podcast format, or if not, please do check out our podcasts. They're excellent. Uh, we ramble on it. Others ramble on it. It's everything you could ask for. That your podcast can be listened to via our site or your favorite podcast way and can also be followed on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. And that's it for that your podcast, I believe. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye.